And now, stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of... The Bat and the Bottle. Colonel Bleep and the High Command review the grim reports once more. Four flying saucers from Venus, lost in collision with a giant space bird. Six Martian cruisers, wrecked in a headlong plunge into a swirling sea of liquid air. And three cargo ships from Jupiter, lost forever in a raging space storm. High Command agree these terrible space flight accidents must be stopped. But how? Colonel Bleep proposes a daring plan. With a giant, specially equipped rocket ship of his own design, Bleep insists he can survey the many hazards of the universe and produce a map. A space map which would accurately chart the location of every danger zone in the galaxy. And so, Bleep, Squeak, and Scratch proceed at once to the planet Robot Land. Only the skilled robot engineers of this strange mechanical world are capable of constructing the great rocket ship, Travel Land. Now in Factory City, as the master robot, Romex, guides the movements of his robot workers, the great rocket begins to take shape on the busy assembly line. At last, the fabulous traveling laboratory is ready, ready to blast off on its first flight at dawn tomorrow. But already, Dr. Destructo has a plan. A plan to destroy the great ship with this bottle of powerful liquid futomic dynamite, Destructo intends to blast the travel lab to smithereens. Quickly, villain fastens a message to the bottle, then calls his giant vampire bat to deliver the deadly parcel. Away it streaks, straight for Factory City. At dawn, when Bleep and his friends rush out to test their new rocket, they spot the mysterious package. For luck to christen the travel lab. Find a friend. Of course, every new rocket ship should be christened. But wait, Squeak, don't use that bottle. Sizzling Saturn, that's the very bottle Destructo filled with a powerful liquid futomic dynamite. It will blow them all to cosmic dust. Stop, Squeak! Don't do it! It's too late. Squeak is ready to christen the travel lab. Gleefully, Destructo and his wicked bat watch the awful scene. The puppet takes aim, and there it goes! But nothing happens. Destructo is amazed. For how can he possibly know his carrier bat had guzzled down every last drop of the liquid dynamite on its long flight to Factory City? Or that the beast standing beside him now is filled with the deadly explosive? But the angry Destructo isn't waiting for explanations. The bat is to blame for the failure of his plan. And now he grabs the terrible creature and twirls him around his head, then sends it crashing at his feet. Yes, the travel lab rocket was saved. A 
of a thirsty bat and an empty bottle. 